Brave Man's game won the Charlie Hall chase impressively on Saturday and it looks like it's all systems go now for the King George. And I think this whole Alaho versus Brave Man's game clash should really be billed as a huge clash for the jump season. The two of them, you know, Brave Man's game looks as though he was born to win a King George just the way he jumps. He's so quick, efficient. Um, the way that he stays three miles so well, he just looks tailor-made for a King George. And then you've got the brilliant, brilliant Alaho. Um, both of them are nine to four apiece for the King George. And you just think to yourself, which one, if it was my last fiver, would I have on? And for me, it's it's actually quite a tough one because logic would lead you towards, uh, in terms of form and achievements, Logic would lead you towards Alaho. He's rated considerably higher. This is a 177 rated chaser. Brave Man's Game is still still only 161, but that was before his Charlie Hall win. Um, so, and also, you know, you look at what Alaho did at the end of the season last year. He beat uh, Clan de Zobo, a two times King George winner, by 14 lengths. Uh, album Photo, a two times Gold Cup winner, was back in third that day. It was a monstrous performance. It was right-handed. It was three miles. It was Kempton in Ireland. Uh, Punchestown is probably a little bit more of a gallop and track than, than Kempton is. But there's just something about the way that Brave Man's game goes about his business, especially at a track like Kempton. It's a sharp, flat three miles. And you can just imagine him just pinging every single fence, being absolutely efficient at every single one of them. And... If he does that and he gets every single one of those fences right, just his speed and his ability, uh, his ability, and he's a natural, he's just a natural fit for Kempton that Alaho probably isn't because Alaho is a bit more of a, a big, burly type of horse. And it's such a fascinating clash between the two of them. Obviously, you've got the likes of Lom Presse, uh, Protectorat, uh, you know, any number of other potential candidates for that race um the king george but ultimately like the likes of tornado flyer and that will probably turn up again for odon um from last year um but it does look to be between those two alaho and brave man's game and the dynamic between them is just fascinating because i do believe that brave man's game will be a little bit more efficient a little bit faster between the fences and over the fences but can alaho's class shine through i don't i just don't I don't know. If it was my last fiver, I'd probably say Alaho. But then, I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys, because this one is its definitely not a punting race. I think it's more of a fun fan favourite kind of race. But let me know what you think.